two good starting pitching performances today, but Sacred Heart outlasts Monmouth 5-4. to four. The big hit was an RBI triple from J.J. Edwards. Craig D'Amico is field side, standing by with Nick Giaquinto, the head coach of Sacred Heart. Another Monmouth Sacred Heart special. You guys came on top here to start off our tournament. Absolutely. Every time we face Monmouth, uh, over especially even last year in the tournament, it's it's been a it's been a tough game. They you know they play nine innings uh, hard all the time. That's the you know the trademark of Monmouth, and uh, we hung in there too today. Now you guys put together a bunch of runs, taking advantage of some opportunities in the second and third innings, uh, getting those four runs early, and I guess those proved big because uh, their pitcher, Brees, really settled down after those first couple innings. Yeah, Brees did a nice job keeping us off balance, and he was hitting his spots. He, he just got to tip your hat. He threw a real a, a tremendous game. And your starting pitcher, Zakaria, really uh, shut them down in the early part of the game as well. Yeah, he did. He did. And if we made a couple plays for him in the, in the eighth, it would have, you know, maybe you could have gotten through the ninth. And talk about here that eighth inning going into the ninth inning. Uh, a couple missed plays defensively let Mammoth back in it, but then you know you guys didn't hang their heads. They came right back out there and uh, they got the lead back. Yeah, that, that's the you know the mark of a good team of a championship team. And we talk about scoring late all the time, and you know we're ready for whatever happens throughout the course of a game. You know we started out with a four-run lead. You know, that dwindled, but we knew we could score again. And now you guys are in the winner's game tomorrow. You'll meet the winner of our next game between Central Connecticut State and Wagner. Uh, why don't you give us a scouting report? You've seen both these teams. What should we look for in the second game coming up next? Yeah, well, you look for Central swinging the bats and Wagner pitching a ball and making some plays. But Wagner has a couple guys that can really swing it, too. So it should be a, it should be a good matchup. It should be a real good matchup. I'm not even sure. I don't know what they did during the season. If the... I don't know if you have those stats, but I don't know if they split, but both teams did pretty well. I think Central went three out of four. Oh, Central three out of four. So it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. I'll be back to watch it. You'll be back to watch it. You'll be there firsthand to see the winner tomorrow in the winner's game. Absolutely. Coach, congratulations. Thanks. Best of luck to you. Thanks a lot. All right, Dave, back to you. Okay, Craig, thanks a lot. Five to four, Sacred Heart wins it okay. over Mondo. Five around the line hits, three errors for the Pioneers. Four, ten, and oh for the Hawks. Sacred Heart will face the winner of our upcoming game at 3.30 between Wagner and Central Connecticut. That'll be 3.30 tomorrow, and Monmouth will face the loser of that game at 12 noon tomorrow here in Somerset. So for Craig D'Amico and our entire crew, Dave Popkins saying so long from uh, Bridgewater, New Jersey, Sacred Heart victorious 5-4 to four over the Monmouth University Hawks. Stay tuned because at around 3.30 we'll have game two of today's NEC Championship Doubleheader. The preceding has been a PAC Network production. To learn more, log on to PacNetwork.com. Sacred Heart wins at 5-4. to four. For Craig D'Amico and our entire crew, Dave Popkin saying so long for now. Central Connecticut is victorious in their first game of the Northeast Conference Tournament here in 2010. 5-3, to three, the final score over Wagner. Five runs, ten hits, two errors for the Blue Devils. Three runs on nine hits and three miscues for the Seahawks. And uh, Craig D'Amico is standing by with the victors. We're back with Charlie Hickey, the head coach of the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, who defeated the Wagner Seahawks by the score of 5-3. to three. Coach, you have one of the top offensive teams in the Northeast Conference dominating the statistics across the board, but it wasn't a lot of runs today. It was a couple of big two-out hitting spots, one in the sixth and one in the seventh. No, absolutely. I think when, when we got to the ballpark today, it was immediately we recognized it was a different park that we practiced in yesterday. Uh, when the wind turns and like it did today and the temperature dropped, I mean, it was still a comfortable, nice day, but obviously the balls were not going to threaten the gaps or the fences as much as we tend to think we do. Um, but, yeah, it's a playoff game, a tournament atmosphere where, you know what, every out matters, every at-bat, you know, and a couple of the innings started with two outs where we scratched and clawed. Um, Danny Hickey got a big hit that got us in front. You know, I thought Tommy Mead had a quality at-bat in the bottom of the eighth in terms of getting a sacrifice fly to extend the lead to two. Um, but it all went back on the shoulders of Dave Krasnowicki today. I mean, he stood up there and pitched nine innings of, of championship caliber baseball uh, and gave us a chance to play a different type of game that, in all honesty, we haven't done most of this year. 
and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, Dave's start today. Again, complete game, fifth complete game this year, a bunch of strikeouts, and really you couldn't ask more from the, the number one guy on your staff, right? Oh, absolutely. He, he, there was a period in the game, uh, probably the fourth through the sixth innings, that he was going to have to keep us involved. You know, They were at a point where it felt like they were one hit away. You know, We were trying to restructure our bullpen in case it got out of hand, in case we hung around. Um, but he got some quality outs. We caught a break or two here and there. But for you know, for most of the day, he was in command, throwing three pitches for strikes. And now that means tomorrow you get Sacred Heart in the winner's game with the winner going to play for the championship. Uh, you took them pretty much under control in the regular season, went three to four. You were the only team really to kind of shut them down. What are your thoughts about seeing them tomorrow here in the well, tournament? I, you know, I think whenever you play somebody during the course of the season. At some points you're playing well, and other points you're not. And, and in all honesty, I thought um, their top two guys in the lineup were fighting it a little bit the weekend we played them. And obviously, they're excellent players, uh, Drown and Tedesco. Those guys really make things happen on the bases by stealing and bunting. Um, they're the key in my eyes to control them. Uh, and obviously, they're starting a kid that's uh, a first-team all-conference pitcher. Our hands are going to be full. Um, but you know, in this day and age, when you're playing tomorrow, you're playing tomorrow. You know, and this also gets us, in some shape or form, it gets us to Saturday. Well, Coach, it'll be a nutmeg state rivalry on center stage tomorrow. Congratulations on the win today. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, great. Thanks, Craig. All right, Dave, back to you. Okay, Craig, thanks a lot. Okay. Big hit, RBI triple from Danny Hickey in the seventh, but Central Connecticut in front. Richie Try with three hits for the Blue Devils. And Dave Krasnowicki, a complete game, his fifth of the year, to go to 7-2 and two with the victory. Van Spronson takes the loss. Central Connecticut wins it by a final score of 5-3. to three. So the games are set tomorrow. Wagner against Monmouth in the elimination game at 12 o'clock. Central Connecticut versus Sacred Heart in the 3-30 game tomorrow. For Craig D'Amico and our entire PAC Network crew, I'm Dave Popkin. This has been a... PAC Network production. To learn more, log on to PACnetwork.com. Once again, the final score. Earlier today, it was Sacred Heart defeating Monmouth 5-4. to And in this one, Central Connecticut 5-3 winners over Wagner. So long from Bridgewater, New Jersey. I'm Dave Popkin. Bye-bye.